Sicilian Defense, O'Kelly, Venice, Steiner Line. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed Black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. A6 sets up the pawn drive at b5 and prevents the white pieces from approaching b5. C3 controls the d4 and b4 squares and prepares the d4 pawn push. D6 controls e5 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. It is an inaccuracy. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. It is the final book action. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. It is quite good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. That's fine. It is good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is a mistake. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. This prevents the adversary from forking pieces. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. This poses a fork piece threat. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This misses a chance to threaten a queen and gain a tempo. It is incorrect. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. By doing this, the chance to double rooks on a single file is lost. It is incorrect. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. This ignores a better way to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a mistake. Very precise. It is best. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Backs off. That's good. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This overlooks a safer approach to moving a queen. It is incorrect. This leads to losing a pawn. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a mistake. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. 
recaptures. It is ideal. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. That's good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. That's good. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. As a result, a knight who was in danger of gaining material is now gone. It is ideal. This threatens to win a rook. It is excellent. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game.